Hi, and welcome to Hostess Coach. Today we're going to be making a delicious new cookie recipe, almond croissant cookies. This is one of those recipes that when I saw it, I ran out and bought all the ingredients that I needed. Actually, the only thing I needed was almond flour to make these because, oh my goodness, these just look incredible. So let's get started. We're going to start with the almond filling because, I mean, come on, who doesn't love an almond croissant? Are you kidding me? So I'm just going to whisk an egg here, and this is for the filling part. So we'll get that whisked, and then we are going to add here our uh, sugar next and get the sugar going in there. And then I've got some two cups of almond flour going in there. And then I have three tablespoons of melted butter. So we'll get that in. And then I'll give that, give that a stir. And I'm gonna add some, you could add rum if you wanted to here, but I'm going to add the almond extract and some vanilla because I'm not going to put rum in this, but I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla. So I'm going to put two teaspoons of vanilla in. One, two, of course a little, a little heaping. And then I'm going to do half a teaspoon of almond extract. Almond extract, a little bit goes a long way. So let's do about a half here of almond and we'll give that a stir and get this all mixed up. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. Anything that almond extract hits, yummy. Okay. Get it out of my whisk here. And then we'll be ready to move on to our cookie dough. <laughs> Probably should have used a spatula instead of the whisk I was whisking the egg with, but there we go. Almond Filling. So I'm just going to set this aside while we move on to our cookie dough. So here we go. I'm going to bring the mixer in here and we are going to start here with two sticks because you know what's a croissant without some butter. So I'm going to do two sticks of melted butter going in. Make sure it's the first thing I'm putting in here. Yes. So we're going to do butter and then we're going to do the sugar. We got granulated white uh, sugar here. And then I also have a half a cup of powdered sugar going in, Put that in over here. And then we're gonna give that a quick stir, turn that on and let that get mixed up. And let's see, get that mixed. My gosh, there's a bakery here uh, in Ventura locally that started a few years ago, and one of their signature things is an almond croissant. And when they first opened, boy, you had to get there first to even get one. They are so delicious that they've opened several more locations in the last couple of years. But this is um, just a yummy, yummy uh, version of an almond croissant in a cookie form, because you know, I love cookies and I'm always looking for new recipes to try. So there we go. We have our sugar and our melted butter mixed in there. So I'm going to put in an egg, one egg, and get that going. We're going to do one teaspoon of the almond extract in here. One. And then I'm going to do half a teaspoon of baking soda. Let's measure it right on the box there. Half a teaspoon of soda. We're gonna do half a teaspoon of salt. Sweet things like this are always, the salt is always really important. So you cut the, a little bit of that sweetness when you add the salt. So we've got our eggs, sugar, vanilla, almond, and an egg. Just make sure that's all well mixed up here. Oh my gosh, that almond extract just smells amazing. So to that here, I'm going to add three cups of flour. Get 
that going in there and give that a, a spin here. This shouldn't take long. And then once that's all incorporated, we're going to make cookies. Oh my gosh, smells delicious. Do you love almond croissants too? Oh, yum. Okay, this is just coming together here. Now, if we weren't on camera, I'm going to refrigerate this dough for a couple of hours up to, you know, a couple days um, before I make the cookies to let everything come together and to let the sugar really dissolve. But for right now, we're going to make one just for a demo. But normally I'd put the filling and the cookie dough in the fridge and let it chill. But just for fun here, we're going to make one. So I have a quarter cup scoop, uh, ice cream scoop, cookie scoop, and I'm going to get a quarter cup of cookie dough into our scoop here. And the reason you use a cookie scoop is number one, it's just e uh, easy. And number two, you get equal portions so that when you're baking them, they bake evenly. So just another reason to use a scoop. Like you can feel this dough is a little bit wet because I used melted butter. That's why refrigerating them was a good idea. But we're starting here with another cookie scoop. And then I have a smaller cookie scoop. I'm gonna get a scoop here of our filling and this, oh my gosh, smells so good. Again, equal portions. We're gonna put a scoop of the filling there right in the middle of our little pancake. And I'm gonna cover that filling with our cookie dough and then boom, oh my gosh, smells delicious. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna sprinkle it pat it a little bit here so I have a flat surface to put our almonds on top. And I'm going to press a few sliced almonds in the top. And voila, there we have it. Almond croissant cookies, quick and easy. And you probably have all the ingredients for a surprise treat inside this when you bite into it. So that is our recipe for today, a delicious almond croissant cookie perfect for any kind of party and uh, easy to make and delicious. So thank you for watching. It's always a pleasure to see you here. We'll see you next time. Okay, so the big reveal, I know you want to see what that beautiful cookie looks like. So let's grab it here out of the oven. Oh my goodness. Look at how beautiful this cookie turned out. Nice and golden brown all around. And then Put it on the plate here, show you the bottom. I started checking this at about 12 minutes and it took about 15 minutes to get it golden brown. It's nice and golden brown here on the bottom. Looks beautiful. So let's break into it and see the filling. Oh my gosh, you can really see it because it's almond, but doesn't this look delicious? Oh my goodness, almond croissant cookie. Let's give it a taste. Oh absolutely tastes like an almond croissant. Absolutely delicious. Hurry up and make these. These will be a winner anytime you serve them. Thanks for watching. See you next time.